Hi dear friends, welcome you all to Easy Walk to English Grammar and today we are here to learn the simple future tense. Without much delay, let's get started with the video. First of all, we can learn the uses of the simple future tense. The simple future tense can be used to express those three actions you can see now on the screen. The first one is actions that are not planned and at the same time they are happening in the future the second is predictions and the third is planned actions happening in the future i am sure that uh, if you are a student who is learning just the basics of english you didn't get much idea what we spoke about now but we are going to discuss these things in detail in this video further. Here we can see a person on phone and closely observe what he sees. Please hold on, I'll take down the number you told me now. Please hold on, I'll take down the number you told me now. What is serious about this dialogue about this uh, about what he says now let's check if we look into this sentence i will take down the number you told me now you can see that that action is not happening now he will be doing that particular action only in the future Look into the sentence, please. I will take down the number you told me now. What does it mean? He is not taking down the number now. He will be doing it only in the future. So it is clear that that particular action is going to take place only in the future. I'll take down the number you told me now. And it is quite clear that that particular action is not planned when he received a phone call he was in need of uh, that particular thing uh, that particular number so he decided to take down that number only then he decided to do that he uh, actually it was not a planned action so that is what we wanted to observe here this is a future action that is not planned and we have used the simple future tense to express this the future action that is not planned hope you understood let me remind you of the thing once more my dear friends if you didn't get the idea in one sitting please watch the video a number of times until you become uh, clear about what we are learning Okay, let's move on to the next uh, aspect. Here we can see a man looking through a window and it is quite evident that it's a sunny day because we can see sun rays and light outside. What happens next? Oh, it's going to be cloudy. And the man now says, it will rain soon. It will rain soon. See, it's not raining now. He predicts it will rain soon. Because he saw the clouds and he now thinks that it will rain soon. After the man says that it will rain soon, when he saw the clouds, two things can possibly happen. What, what are they? It can either rain or the wind can take away the clouds and it can be a sunny day again. So, what can we understand from this context the man's words it will rain soon can 
either become true or it can prove false. The two things, anything can happen. So here we can say that the sentence, it will rain soon, is a prediction. What's the peculiarity of a prediction? It can either happen or cannot happen. A prediction, the peculiarity of a prediction is the action can happen or cannot happen. So, what can we learn from here? We can use the simple future tense to tell a prediction. Once more, let me repeat. We can use simple future tense to tell a prediction. So, in order to understand this, you have to completely understand what a prediction is. For that, if you didn't understand, please do repeat to watch the video. Here, we are moving on to the next aspect of simple future tense. And we can see a man sitting on a chair and thinking, I'll go to my hometown next week. He thinks that I'll go to my hometown next week. And it's clear here the action is not happening now. It will take place only in the future. Okay, let's check the sentence in detail. Imagine that man has to take a scheduled flight to his hometown. Then he cannot do that action without planning because he has to get a ticket, a flight ticket. He has to pack his luggage. Everything should be planned. So this future action is a planned action. It's clear here. We are discussing an action that is planned and is going to happen in the future. If we look into this sentence, I'll go to my hometown next week in detail, we can see that it's a planned action. The sentence expresses or indicates a planned action happening in the future. What can we learn from here? It's very simple. We can use the simple future tense in order to express a planned action happening in the future. That's what we have learned from here. Now we'll check the sentence pattern of simple future tense. Here in this sentence, I'll go to my hometown next week. We can see that I is the subject of the sentence and we have used will here. We can use will or shall according to certain conditions, which we can discuss in some of our future videos. Uh, so coming back to our point here, we can use will or shall and after that, after will or shall, we can use the base form of the verb. What is the base form of the verb? The verb without ing forms or ed forms. Dear friends, if you are not aware of what subject is, what base form of the verb is, we have wonderful videos in our channel, Easy Walk to English Grammar. Please do feel free to visit the channel and watch those videos. The link can be given in the description box also. And here, now we understood that if we write a sentence in this pattern, subject plus will or shall plus base form of the verb, we can construct a sentence in simple future tense. Hope you understood. Now to sum up the video, 
the simple future tense its sentence pattern sentence pattern means we can write a sentence in simple future tense using the pattern subject plus will or shall plus base form of the verb then if we write a sentence using this pattern we can simply construct a sentence in the simple future tense and what can we use the simple future tense for we can use simple future tense to express the three actions that you can see now on the screen the first one actions that are not planned but they are happening in the future the second predictions and the third planned actions happening in the future that's all for the day being thanks a lot for watching the video hope you have benefited from the video in that case please don't forget to give the video a like share the video with your friends and relatives who are interested in improving english grammar their knowledge in english grammar and also please do give your valuable suggestions in the comment box below we'll meet soon with another useful video take care until then bye for now